Hey guys, it's Ben and welcome back to another bucket plugin tutorial. Today we're going to be doing about um, the boss bar, uh, if that makes sense. So, the ender dragon bar, the bar at the top of the screen where there's an ender dragon, uh, how to manipulate that and how to sort of make that have the text that you want and and do do stuff. So, to uh, to do this, we're going to, uh, first of all, we're going to head over to Google, over here, and we're going to type in bar API and we're going to click on the first one that comes up, uh, devdebugger.org, bucket plugins, bar API. Now what bar API is, is it's a application program interface, so it's like, it's bu bucket is an API, and this is an API for an API. So we can use this in our plugin, and use sort of methods like such this that have already been set up for us to to make our own, uh, to, to manipulate our plugin some more. So we're going to download this, we're going to download bar API, we're going to get it. We're going to show it in folder. Bar API. It's there. So remember where you where you put it. And then we're going to go to our build path. We're going to configure our build path. And we're going to add an external jar. Bar API. So we're going to add bar API into our external jars. Okay. So now what we do is we're going to make it so let's just make it so on a command. So public void or actually if I just hit control space and then find on command move these things just return false because why not okay so say we want to say if the label equals ignore case show me the bar <laughs> um then we want to show them the bar okay so to do this we type bar api like so dot and then we have all these these methods now so to actually set the bar what we do is we type bar API dot set health, not set health, set, set message, and we're going to set the message for the player. So if we just cast player to sender, so so sender to player, sorry. So player sender, like so. And the message here we can put as anything. We can put chat colors in it. So we could say like chat color dot red plus this is a bar. <laughs> okay. So other things we can do with the uh, the bar API is if we put another comma, uh, you'll see there's, there's methods where we can put percent and seconds. Now seconds, uh, say we just put five, this would be so the bar would show for five seconds and then it would disappear. Uh, percent, on the other hand, the percent one, is the percentage of what the um the bar is at. So it, it's like from zero float to one hundred float. Uh, it's how how much of the bar is filled with purple. So say we wanted like 60 um, 60 percent of the bar to be filled, and we put in 60. Make sure you have the F on because if you just put 60, it's just gonna it's gonna show normally for a minute, and then and then after a minute it'll it will disappear because it's an integer and it's sort of like a weird method. So say we wanted to then you know remove this bar. Uh, if they did like no, don't show. So if the label equals ignore case like don't show me the bar and without the exclamation mark <laughs> we could say bar ap so first of all i guess we want to check if the player because we can't actually remove a bar from a player if they don't have a bar so to do that we do if bar api dot has bar and then if we just copy this up here so if if this player has a bar which obviously they do if they've done this command if they don't then they won't we're going to say bar api dot remove bar bar api bar pi bar api dot remove bar from the player so they won't have a bar anymore if that's the check for that so that's basically saying remove bar if they have a bar uh, other things we can do with this is in bar api um, you can get the message off a bar that a player has so if i if we ran if they ran this and then we ran that after it and put the player in it it will return this is a bar <laughs> um, we can also uh, get the health or get the uh, the float percent of how much of it's filled in from the method. Um, so that's it really. Just a quick thing that people have been asking for. Uh, one thing to note is that this can only have 60 characters. Uh, so currently this has like, I don't know, this would be like two. This is two, the chat color is two characters and then it would be like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That'd be like 16 characters already. Uh, one way of checking this is if we put this all in brackets, like so, 
So say if we like separate the string. So this is going to be our, our message. Okay. And this message is equal to, to this. So say this was, we didn't know what this was. If someone did like a command and this was like, like the arguments. So this was like the arguments here. Um, pretend that it's just one big word. <laughs> um, so anyway, the one way of checking this is we're going to say if message dot two char array so two character array dot uh, size or length length is greater than or equal to 60 so it can only have 60 characters overall so if it's greater than or equal to 60 then we're going to say to player say to sender sender dot send message like the bar can only have 60 character I can't I'm put chars chars you fool <laughs> so <laughs> They would get that message and then we'd like return false because they'd done it wrong. So it would break out this. Otherwise, we can set it to message, like so. And that would that would give them the message. And it would only have and it would fit on fine, it wouldn't throw any errors. So that's all fantastic. So anyway, that's just a quick little video. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. We can't rate anymore, can you? I don't know why I said that. I always used to say that when you could rate and stuff. Anyway, yep. If you have any issues, email, email me over at ben at thebcbrosbucket.com. Uh, you can order custom bucket plugins from thebcbrosbucket.com. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.